welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a two-in-one video kind of. Um, I've had probably the most requested makeup look that I have had to date from any of my videos has been the one in my palette collection video which I'll put a card um, somewhere up here. I don't know what side it comes on. Um, to take you to that video if you want to see but it's basically a super simple two to three color eye and it really it uses one of my favorite like lid products so I'm gonna go in depth about that um, it's kind of like a talk through I also wanted to feature this brush set that I got from eBay these are that right here it does not come with this container this is mine but these are this is the Jessup 15 piece brush set um, the only one there are only two that I don't mention or use in the video, and I mentioned one at the end. The only other one I didn't is this lip brush, which I really like because it comes in like a bullet. But you get that lip brush, you get two concealer brushes, a shader brush, a highlighting brush, duo fiber. You get lots of good shaders, a powder, a bronzer, a blush. I'm gonna go over all of these, but this is a nice, set of brushes right here. They're very, they, very soft. They feel very good. The kicker is they're 13, and I keep dropping them. They are $13.50 for all 15 of them, okay? You are buying them from China directly. Some people may not be comfortable with that, and that's fine. That is a personal decision. I, however, know that a lot of the brushes that I buy in the U.S. are made in China anyways, and I'm just saving a little bit of money buying direct, so. Um, it doesn't bother me if I buy directly from them. They say to allow two weeks for shipping. Mine came in like probably seven or eight days. So it was fairly fast shipping for where you're buying it from. And I'm just, overall, I'm really pleased with the set. And I wanted to share the set with you as well as give you a look that has been highly requested. So I'm going to jump right into that because I am a little chatty in this video. And hope you start off the eyes. I'm going to do the same thing I always do. And prime them with the Sigma um, Persuade eye base, which I'm almost out of. And then I'm going to set that primer with my ABH Blanc, which I'm almost out of as well. So because I'm trying to try all the brushes in this palette or in this kit, I'm gonna try the large fluff brush to actually, well, let's see. Actually, I might try the concealer to actually spread that base out on my eye and see how that works. And it works great. Now I'm gonna try the large fluff to set that. And it definitely is large, so it covers a lot of space quickly, which is a plus. Now we're gonna go in with a transition color, and for that I'm going to use the small tapered blending brush. And I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use the color Birkin by Anastasia. So this isn't like as fluffy as your <clears throat> Sigma E40 or the Sedona Lace brush that I like so much. So it could also be used for a crease color. I prefer a bigger, fluffier brush for a transition, but this is the biggest, fluffiest one they have, and it still does the job fine. I'm gonna skip over to my eye base, and for that today, I am going to use, I've been using this a lot. I've been using a lot of my Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks a lot, but this is the color Moonlight, and so I'm just gonna put that over my lid. I'm not going all the way up into the crease because I still have to apply the crease color and I don't want it to mix in with this cream and get messed up. For the crease color, I am taking the Tapered Blending Brush, which is more of like a natural hair, kind of the same shape as the Large Fluff, but um, I like these for blending better than synthetic hair. I just feel like they do it better. And the color that I used in that eye look was MAC Undressed. It's a pro longwear eyeshadow that is no longer available. For um, Makeup Geek Desert Sands and Tiki Hut are very, very similar. Um, so you know, they can easily be used in place of this. This is just the color I used and I want it to stay as true to the look as possible.
Now I'm going to take the star of the show for the um, eye look, and that is the Giorgio Armani Eye Tint in Onyx. Now I only have one of these, um, but it's so it really is so nice that eventually I'll get more. They're just very expensive, and I am going to take that on the applicator and just put it directly onto my lid right up to the crease and then I'm going to take the short shader brush and I'm going to just kind of buff out the edges you get a little bit of play time with these shadows I would say probably I don't know 20 30 seconds before they dry down and I really like these because they're very buildable so I mean you can keep going over and keep going over and keep going over until you get the desired like opaqueness and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of that crease color and blend out between the two shades so it may not look as shiny as it did in the palette collection video and that's another thing I really like about these shadows is that they reflect light beautifully. So it was very bright in that video, I remember, and it's like really cloudy outside today. It might not be as bright, but if you were to go out like on a sunny day, it would really catch the light and be absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's pretty now, but it's really pretty when it catches the light. So I'm just going to wipe under my eyes. I did not have liner in this look because I wanted to keep the bright green. So you're not going to do liner. We're just going to clean up and move on to our face. So I'm gonna pull my hair back for this and I'm gonna scoot the camera back just a little bit. Okay, so for my primers today, trying to kind of use up these um, Cover FX samples that I got. So I'm going to mix the Calming Primer and the Illuminating Primer and use both of those. <clears throat> and because this window and these lights are like a car when car rear view mirror and I can see every one of my flaws I'm gonna fill in some of my pores with the benefit professional foundation I've I've always been into mixing foundations but I really have been lately and I'm I really need to get rid of this by Terry one because I've had it the longest I keep like a spreadsheet of when I get my products especially liquid ones and I've had this one the longest so I'm trying to get rid of it and I'm going to mix it with my Shiseido Synchro Skin. Take this large concealer which it's probably like the largest large concealer brush that I've found and there's the garbage truck. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of this foundation and I'm just going to go above my brows and then blend it out. I wish you could see the outfit that one of my garbage men has on right now. It's hilarious. He's literally wearing a midriff, a neon green midriff with some purple shorts and a neon green uh, bandana. That's hilarious. Okay, so that was a good use for that since I don't use concealer brushes. Now sadly I'm out of my Giorgio Armani Master Corrector so I have been using the Naked Skin in Peach which I think I had mentioned in my haul is not my favorite um, but it's doing the job I mean, serving its purpose until I get another Giorgio Armani one and I just don't put a ton on. I see some people use these and they're like putting it on like a concealer which basically just means you're putting like two really thick coats of concealer on and this one is thick as it is. Um, and you just want to put as least, less, what am I saying? You want to put as least amount of, the least amount of product under your eyes as possible if you're trying to avoid cake, which who isn't trying to avoid cake? And I've been reaching for my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer a lot, not only because it still is one of my very favorite concealers, but because it's almost done and I'm one, one piece away from being able to get two back to max, so I'm trying to finish that up. Pop this under my eye with my finger and then blend it out with the blender. And I know I've talked about the Makeup Forever being, the HD concealer being a new favorite of mine, and it is, but I will say if you're worried about a concealer being waterproof, don't use that one. 
use this one. Um, I wore it to the gym the other day and like I hardcore sweated and I looked in the mirror afterwards and like I had no concealer left under my eye. Completely, because apparently I sweat from my eyeballs too. Who knew? Okay, well, I don't know. I've got a new contour, like a cream contouring product, but I'm kind of scared to use it. But I'm gonna start using it on my forehead and see how it blends out. I'll either change it or keep doing it on my face. But for this, I'm gonna use the Jessup Duo Fiber Powder Blush, powder slash blush brush. And I actually use this kind of brush, as you know, to um, blend out my cream contour. So this is the ColourPop Sculpting Stick. And it's from the Jamie King collection. And it's just in the color Rena New Renaissance. So I'm just going to, I don't know, it just feels stiff, like it's not gonna be blendable. And it's like got a very strong red undertone. I don't know, I don't think it's gonna come through on the camera, but. So I already know I love this brush because I've used it before. And it's blending it out okay. I guess it's okay. I don't know if you can tell. I can't tell a huge difference. But I don't want to put more because I'm afraid I'm, it's like a fine line before I cross that line and then I'm just going to have stripes all over my face. Oh, I don't know. All right. Y'all going to do this with me. We're going to try it on the cheek. It's kind of dry, so I wouldn't like map out your whole face and then go in and blend it. I, I would do like I'm doing and blend it. Uh-uh, a little at a time. You don't like it. I'm going to go in for my cheeks with the Giorgio Armani Liquid Summer. That's more like it for me. Okay, this brush is a win. I do really enjoy that. Now, I'm gonna take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured in Moonstone, and I'm just gonna take it on my finger and put it where I normally put a cream highlight. I set my under eyes with the Studio Fix Powder. And they have a highlighting brush, but I'm gonna use this for highlighting. I'm not gonna use it to set, so I'm just gonna use my Morphe M501. And now I'm gonna set my whole face. Um, this is a new product that I actually forgot to haul, but it's the Bare Minerals, um, what is it called? Translucent Powder Duo. And it's got like a mattifying side and an illuminating side. Oh, I got that backwards, illuminating and mattifying. The only thing I don't like about it so far is that it catches foundation. Can you see on that from the brush? It's already got a ton of foundation. I can't stand that. My NARS um, Pressed Crystal Powder does that too. And I just, I don't like it, but I haven't even tried the illuminating side, but I like the other one. This is the Jessup Large Powder. It's very, very soft. And I'm just going to powder my face. Now for bronzer today, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna try the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. It's kind of a little orange toned, so I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we're gonna try it. And then I'm gonna use the Jessup Tapered Face Brush, which is like a tulip shape brush. So I'm not contouring today, I just wanted to bronze, so I really like this shape brush for that because it still gets in the hollows of your cheeks, but it blends it out and diffuses it as well. I hope this isn't, this camera always makes everything look a lot harsher than it is. For highlight, I am going to use the tapered highlighter brush that came in the set, and I'm going to use my Kiko Cosmetics 208 eyeshadow. That's a good soft brush. They're all very soft. For blush, I'm using Tarte Blush in the Amazonian Clay Blush in Peaceful. And the only blush brush that came is one that I'm not really used to. It's the powder slash blush brush. And it's like that. I just, you know, I usually use the It Cosmetic angled one, but we're gonna give this a try. So I'm just going to kind of sweep it. I mean, man, that's some, oh my goodness. 
don't tap on the blush too hard pop out of the pan and that makes the blush holy cow that makes it pigmented okay have a light hand if you're using this brush and as always i'm going to go in and buff everything out anyway so pretty pigmented but i don't think it's as in your face as it was before hopefully I have like a really small um brush like i usually use on my lower lash line they do have this flat definer brush which is one of my favorite brushes to use in my kit to really stamp on um the product and then like blow it out with some blend it out with something smaller i don't i'm not going to use this today because i don't want but one color i'm going to take that uninterrupted and just kind of blend it out all on my lower lash line but for that i'm going to try this blending brush so it looks like it's trying to be the 217 but it's a little bit taller than that but it's got the same shape and this would also be good to put stuff like in the outer corner but today I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line so this worked good for the purpose that I wanted today when you really want to blow out one color under your lash line that would be a great brush to use um, short shader brush again and put a little bit of Kat Von D's Thunderstruck and I'm just going to put that in the corner, inner corner of my eye. But this is small enough to fit perfectly in there. Like I really like that actually. So I did my tight line and water line and mascara and stuff off camera because you've seen me do it all the time. I didn't do lashes because I did not do lashes in my palette video. But I do want to do a close-up of my lashes because I used um, a new mascara. I use my Giga Black Lash on the bottom as always and my Dior Primer as always. But I have a sample of this Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, which I think is the newest one they launched. It's nice. Let me do a close-up. So I don't know if you can see. I mean, that's, that's super voluminous and long. So I'm really happy with that. And I don't think you really need lashes. Okay, so the only thing left we have to do is lips, and I'm so happy because this is like the first day in two weeks that my lips have felt like absolutely normal. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop lipstick, Lippy Stick in O Snap. Nice, like muted, pinky mauve color, nude-ish, which you know is my favorite. And that completes the look. And I hope you enjoyed A, the look, and B, also talking about the Jessup brushes. I do want to point out the only one that I did not use or talk about in the video is the small eyeliner brush. And it's just a very tiny, thin-tipped eyeliner brush. And I think I touched on all the rest of them if I didn't use them. So hopefully that gave you a good idea of that. I think it is totally worth 1350 and the time that you may have to wait to get it um, for 15 brushes really good quality if it, if you're personally wanting more brushes I say get it if you're a starting makeup artist and can't afford you can't even afford a full set of like the good morphe brushes get a couple sets of these because they have a lot of different options for sets on eBay this is just the 15 piece set so I will put the link to that below and hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a very blessed day.